In this video, we will be talking about types of heat exchangers. It's clear that heat transfer is one of the fundamental concepts of process engineers and heat transfer facilities. Heat exchangers play a vital role in heat supply for industrial usages. A heat exchanger is an equipment that allows heat to pass from one fluid to another without mixing or directly contacting them, which is the indispensable characteristics of heat exchanger. Heat exchangers can be seen not only in industry, assisting machines and apparatus to operate more efficiently, but also in daily lives, working to heat or cool buildings. For instance, refrigerators or air conditioners employ this equipment from central heating systems in the reverse manner, draining heat from a room where it is not needed and pipe it away in a fleet to some other location where it can be pumped into the other way. The principal types of heat exchanger used in chemical processes and allied industries are listed here, and we will talk about each of them in detail throughout this chapter. The simplistic kind of heat exchangers, so called a double pipe heat exchangers, usually consist of two combined tubes of various diameters in the form of U band design. Whilst one fleet passes across the space between two pipes, on the other side, the heat exchanger moves through the smaller pipe. There are two possible flow modes in the type of heat exchanger. Parallel flow, both the hot and cold fluids move in the equipment at the same end and flow path, and counter flow, where the hot and cold fluids flow in heat exchanger at opposite ends and directions. They are mainly used for insignificant duties demanding normally less than 300 feet squared and appropriate for high pressures and temperatures and thermally long duties. Due to their easily removable parts, this design is straightforward enough to check. However, in large-scale industries, double pipe exchangers are not preferred, as they are less efficient and occupy more area with fairly higher cost per square meter. In addition, this heat exchanger is applied generally for high fooling services, such as slurries and for small heat duties, while multi tube heat exchangers are utilized when there is a requirement of higher heat duties. If one or more criteria provided below appear, a double pipe heat exchanger should be used. High pressure on the tube side, requirement of lower lobal pressure drop on one side, necessity of an expansion device to improve the heat transfer coefficient, possibility of thermal shocks and flow-induced vibrations, and presence of solid particulates or slurries. Plate and frame, or just plate heat exchangers, which consist of a series of plates with corrugated flat flow passages, the hot and cold fluids flow in alternate passages, and thus each cold fluid stream is surrounded by two hot fluid streams, resulting in very effective heat transfer. Also plated exchangers can grow with increasing demand for heat transfer by simply mounting more plates. They are well suited for liquid to liquid heat exchange, provided that the hot and cold fluid streams are at about the same. Plate fin exchangers, used for heating and cooling. The plate fin heat exchangers is a design that uses plates and fins with a large surface area to transfer the heat between the fluids. It's often referred as a compact heat exchanger to emphasize its relatively high heat transfer surface area to volume ratio. Fire heaters are used primarily to heat the process fluids. A heater may be a direct fire heater where fuel is burned to heat the process fluid or utility stream, such as a steam or hot oil may be used in an exchanger. Radiation plays a significant role in heat transfer inside a fire heater. The fluid from the system passes through the tubes around the flame. The fluid in this type of the exchanger from the system passes through the tubes around the flame. And those tubes directly absorb much of the heat from the flame through radiation. And there is also convection possibility from the air between the tubes and the flame that is still producing a slight amount of heat. Heaters are not common in most field installations, but are much more commonly used in plant situations in which Competing operators routinely maintain and inspect the equipment. For safety reasons, heaters are most often used to heat a heat medium system, water, steam or heat transfer fluid, rather than to heat the gas or oil stream directly. 